Bobby's cutting about 20 pounds in 24 hours. That's a lot of weight to cut. If a person was to lose weight, they would have eight weeks. Cutting weight, you're talking about hours, you know, minutes, seconds. You're talking about very, very little time to lose weight. Bobby's got to get in the sauna, put plastics on, put sweatsuit on, ride the bike in the sauna for an hour. That is weight cutting. I mean, if, if you could lose 20 pounds in 24 hours, you're a man. There's a lot riding on this. You know what you got to do. You're thirsty, you're hungry. I mean, it's just, it's miserable. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. You got ten more. Ten Sit minutes. in there. Come on. Ten minutes. You can do it. Sit down on the floor. Yeah. Down. Bobby was very, very mentally weak in the sauna. It was wearing on him, and, and you could see it. Uh, at one point, Chuck had to, to hold the door shut. Sit up, Bobby. He's hurt, but I mean, I, for what he's been doing, he shouldn't be hurting this bad. But he's been trying, he's been cutting a long time, so this is tough, man. It's so easy. It's a, mental, it's a mental game right now. Can he make the weight? You know? Kits of ice. Has anybody seen the chandelier up here? This carpet is really nice. As well. I know mentally Bobby's gonna be drained. He's gonna be hard to sleep, dehydrated as hell. He's a kitten going eh, eh, right now. Let me adjust my towel. <laughs> so I'm ready to play. Big game for me. It's all fun. I'm smiling. I can't get the smile off my face. It's probably 210 degrees in the sauna. At 210 degrees in there for an hour, that's gonna break you. Whether you're the toughest man on the face of the surf, it's gonna break you at some point. And he broke. Bobby, up. Do your cool down. Let's go. We were just trying to force them to, to stay in there. Ten more minutes, ten more minutes, ten more minutes. We just kept telling them, you know, you can do it, you can do it. I hope there's going to be a fight. I think it will uh, look bad on Bobby if he doesn't make the weight. And I think he weighed out around 214. So he's got eight pounds to go. And he'll have until 2 o'clock tomorrow to get that done. Bobby really does look leaned out, though. Mm -mm. No? I hope that Bobby's going to suck it up and make the way. I can guarantee he's very, very dehydrated right now, but he, he's got to lose eight more pounds, or he'll be sent home if he doesn't make the way. They are the weigh-ins, and it's sounding like right now they, they know Bobby's four pounds over, but regulation, he's going to weigh in today. They're, they're going to tell him he's over, and he's going to have two hours to cut the weight. What do you think, Bob? Just relax for about a half hour, 45 minutes, then try it again? Weigh-in is half an hour. I don't want to cut another two hours, dude. Should I go home? go with this. You got two choices. You go home and you cut the weight. That's it. You have two choices. Make up your mind. He already knows he's over, yet he's not trying to cut. He's just laying around and, and bitching about it. What's up, Bob? What are you doing? There's nothing to bitch about. You know you have to cut the weight. You know what you have to weigh in at. He's not even trying right now. Can I be over a little? Huh? Can't load it. If he says it's OK, can I be over a little? I don't know. We'll figure that out right now. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll go cut again, but my kidneys are already like I feel them straining. I have nothing in me. All right. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying, Dan. I hear you, bro. Here's the deal. When they go on the scale. Hey, come on in here, Logan. You come in here. 
when they go on a scale, Southworth's going to be three or four over. Just like in any real fight, Ratner would ask if you guys would spot him to wait. Otherwise, he has two hours to, to make weight. So, it's your call. He wants to talk to you privately okay. anyway. I was just telling you what's going on. Okay. All right? All right. He's going to pass me if I spot him a couple pounds. What do you think of that? Uh, I just think, I know they wouldn't do that for us. In this situation, I think you have to make that weight and make it fair. It's the only logical thing to do. Just make him cut it. That's, yeah. that's what I say. It sounds petty. It sounds, in some ways, almost seems chicken okay. But that's the only thing that's fair to load. Will you agree? Yeah. Okay. And Kate. Come on up, sir. Two oh two and a half. Okay. All right. Bobby Southworth. Okay, you're over. Let's see what, how much over you are. All right, you're about three pounds over. You have two hours to lose that, or you cannot fight. And the way this works out now is you're over. You either cut the weight in two hours for the commission, or you quit now and become eliminated. What do you want to do? See you in two hours. I figured he was going to quit as soon as he got off the scale, but he didn't. They just left to go cut the weight. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Will he do it? We'll find out in two hours. Bobby's responsibility to make weight, regardless of the circumstances. It's your responsibility. You're a fighter. You're a grown man. If we have to carry him and stick him on a scale, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get him to that weight class. Because me and Chuck talked about it, and if he doesn't want to get in the sauna, we're just going to throw him in there and lock him in. You know, bottom line, he's getting in that sauna and he's making weight. Bobby whined from minute one that he couldn't make weight, couldn't do this, and uh, that gets wearing on me. Hang in there, Bobby. Okay, but hang in there. If cost check hadn't helped me out, I, I don't think I could have. I probably would have thrown my towel at him. You got 25 minutes, less than 25 minutes to suck it up. Put that towel on your head so you can cool down and get back in. You're getting back in. I have to drag your ass in there. Huh? Bobby doesn't make weight, I, I just think it's going to be a big disappointment. Uh, you know, he's going to let a lot of people down, you know, and I think that he's going to look back at this and regret this for the rest of his life if he doesn't make weight. Bobby had 15 minutes left to, to try to make the weight, and he sucked it up and, and went really hard. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens. In Nevada, it's give or take a pound. 205, they give you a pound. You can be a pound over, because you never know. The scales could be a little off, but they always give you a pound. Just drop it. Get up All right, the weight's got to be 206. 206. It was only two days, but it was an eternity of torment. I really didn't think that I could get through it. It was hell, pure hell. Now that Bobby's made the weight, he's got to rehydrate. And different guys do it in different ways. Bobby's taking capfuls of water and he's drinking them slowly, slowly getting the water back into his system. Um, other guys will just grab whatever, whatever they rehydrate with and pound it right there. Um, every guy has his different system of cutting weight and rehydrating. That's why they have the weigh-ins the day before. 
so guys can replenish and get healthy again before they fight. This is good. Dr. Margaret Goodman, the fight doctor for the Nevada State Athletic Commission, checked Bobby out, gave him a clean bill of health, and he's ready to fight. He didn't He didn't look that dry, trust me. I mean, he wasn't orthostatic. I mean, his I, blood I, pressure and his pulse were good. You know, when he stood up and I rechecked him, he wasn't, you know, it didn't, like, speed up, like he's really dehydrated, so. Got it. Okay.